This is a very interesting and uncommon piece of furniture. So let's have a look at it and uh, see what we can find out about it. So the top extends to increase the workspace um, with little lopers there to hold it in place. We've got a gallery to the top. We've got a cupboard door, which has got four drawers with flush handles to the interior. It sits on a nice bracket foot. We've got brass handles to the side to help us move it around. And to further help with that, it sits on leather casters, which help us to date it as well. Now, um, we've had cabin tables before now, which are later in date and they were very popular on board ship. And basically a cabin table is a bank of drawers with a Pembroke top so you can extend the working surface or reduce it to make most of the space or the limited space that you've got in your cabin. But this is also um, similar in some ways to the Croft table, which uh, is a bit of furniture which didn't really take off and you don't see many examples of. It's noted in um, volume two of Ralph Edwards' uh, English uh, Furniture and also in the Norman Adams book. And basically the Croft table was conceived for um, the Reverend uh, Sir Herbert Croft who set about in 1792 to revise Dr. Johnson's dictionary and he wanted um, approximately 12 croft cabinets with banks of drawers all numbered inside, 12 drawers within as a, a filing system for his work. And uh, Seddon made them and they were described as being very useful for easily moving up or down stairs on a porter's head. So they were meant to be uh, easy to, to move about perhaps not on campaign, but certainly within a house. This cabinet has got a little bit more to it and it gives us a few more clues. So let's open up the cupboard door here. Now, most of these drawers, not the top one, but most of them have got stops on them to stop them uh, extending too far and falling out and there's good reasons for that so I'm just going to move the camera in so that you can have a closer look now hopefully you can see these watermarks these circles on this drawer and that gives us a big clue um, as to what we think this cabinet might have been made for you can also see that uh, we've got supports on either side of the interior of the drawer and that suggests to me that there would have been um, a support shelf in there with holes cut out to hold all of these different bottles in place and uh, as you can see this bottle here which I've taken out of an apothecary cabinet it's round about the same size so if you could imagine that a whole number of these would have sat inside, you would have had a framework on these supports with holes cut out to stop these moving around. And uh, if we open up some of the other drawers, you can see we've got further water marks as well as the supports. And the bottom one, it's got, um, it's a little bit deeper and it's got bigger marks for bigger bottles. When full, these drawers would have had an awful lot of weight in them. So it's quite important that they've got stops at the back just to make sure that it uh, doesn't tip and you lose all of the contents. The only one which doesn't is the smaller drawer to the top, which is completely removable. And as we can see on this one, not so much evidence of um, water marks but we do have the supports to take some sort of framework so what we have is a very elegant piece of furniture it's got a lovely shaped bracket foot to it 
lever casters. The top extends to make it quite a useful piece. Lots of storage space with drawers to the interior. And um, probably quite a rare piece of furniture. We would be fairly confident in saying that it's an apothecary cabinet, um, possibly made for a doctor, maybe a ship's surgeon, certainly the size of it and the fact that it's uh, easily moved about would be very practical on board ship. And a piece of uh, furniture perhaps inspired by um, the croft table and adapted uh, for other means, which then possibly went on to inspire the design of um, the cabin table, a number of which we've shown in past catalogues um, and on our website, which was a very practical piece of furniture for use on board ship. It's made of mahogany, English, round about 1800 in date. Um, certainly a very unusual piece of furniture, possibly even a one-off, possibly a unique piece of furniture. Um, but certainly very, very interesting. And I hope you've enjoyed looking at it.